So today we're talking about a war, but not just any war, a war in the supermarket space. Probably the longest one that there is. We'll be discussing the soda war. Since the invention of soda, both Coke and Pepsi have been in a dire competition to be the favorites. There were other sodas, sure, and some of them even reached a peak, but Coke and Pepsi were the two titans that fought the most for first place for the longest time. Right now, Coke is still the top soda in the world, but the runner-up is Dr. Pepper. Pepsi has been dethroned, and it's trying to get its place back. Just like Coke and Pepsi, Dr. Pepper had humble beginnings and started more like a medicine and less like a beverage. Pharmacist Charles Alderton in Texas decided to experiment with a few fruity flavors. Eventually, he actually invented a sweet syrup that you combine with carbonated water to make a soda. Now, the story kind of splits here. Some people say that Charles named the soda after his dad, Dr. Charles T. Pepper. Dr. Pepper came to life that faithful year and has become one of the most famous soda brands in the world. What makes the soda very unique when we compare it to Coke or Pepsi is its flavor. There are 23 flavors combined in the soda that makes it very special. At first, people believed it tasted a little nutty, sweet and citrusy, with the tiniest hint of vanilla at the end. Others think that there's a bit of caramel. In all, there are 23 flavors combined. And of course, as you know, like any other big business, the recipe is very secret. Like the Coke recipe or even KFC's spice mixture. It is very well hidden and nobody outside of the company knows how to make it. But from some hardcore fans of the stuff, we do know a few things. It contains carbonated water, of course, high fructose corn syrup, caramel, phosphoric acid, and natural and artificial flavors. The artificial flavors could be amaretto, almond, blackberry, licorice, and even carrot and ginger, and the list goes on. This huge number of possible combinations is what makes the soda so good, and also very mysterious. So Pepsi has stayed as the runner-up for many years thanks to its marketing and commercial efforts. That along with Coca-Cola are great examples of the benefits of marketing. Tons of Coke commercials often go viral and are examples of how to use public emotion to make your brand more appealing. Coca-Cola uses emotion to make their target buy even more of their soda, which eventually makes people relate their emotions directly back to the brand. In other words, if their target is happy, they'll be even more happy with a Coke. Ah, now we're starting to sound like a Coke commercial. But Dr. Pepper does it a little bit differently. To make their brand more relatable, they aim for a digital strategy using social networks and other platforms that are more popular now. This involves a higher focus on short video formats and visual digital media. Why is this important? Well, videos are the most efficient way to reach people nowadays. There are more people watching their phones than their TVs. That makes short videos catchier because the algorithm actually pushes them into social networks, making that what most people consume. Dr. Pepper has a very engaging network full of fun videos that their base target can watch and enjoy. Eventually, this led them to associate the brand with their feelings, just like Coke. Another huge factor that boosts Dr. Pepper's popularity is its flavor profile. We already mentioned that Dr. Pepper's flavor is very unique, and this new profile has been like a magnet for new customers. The company behind the soda saw this, and they have been making more and more alternatives for their customers. For example, you can now get a zero sugar alternative, an extension of their original product. Then there's strawberry and cream, and even a creamy coconut flavor. Two different, unique alternatives that only this brand has available. These are very particular flavors, and only Dr. Pepper can pull them off thanks to their already fruity cola. Dr. Pepper has been in the market for years now, and we've spoken about their innovations lately, but they have a very consistent brand. The innovations in their marketing campaign combined with their consistency as a brand have made them even more approachable now. Also, having been around so long, even peripherally, means the brand has some level of name recognition. The general Dr. Pepper consumer thinks that the soda is very consistent, but also innovated a lot in comparison to Pepsi. The brand is more up-to-date with the new marketing techniques, and it's fresher on social media. Additionally, they're very distinctive. You can recognize a Dr. Pepper commercial over any other soda, and this is something fun that attracts a lot of new customers to the brand. They have been focusing on their uniqueness since the beginning, and now they're starting to exploit it. This humanized the brand far more changing the view of many new customers and attracting more interest in it. Though innovation doesn't come for free, and success can hit a wall in just a blink of an eye. Can Dr. Pepper keep up its momentum? Well, 
Thanks to trends, they've gained a lot of traction in comparison with Pepsi. They release new products with new trends, solving a market problem while also making fun extra content for their brand. This in turn increases the engagement they receive and their relatability. Sure, Coke is still the pioneer in conquering this type of emotional connection and marketing it in the war, but this very well could change in a few years. The main demographic Dr. Pepper is targeting is Gen Z and Gen Alpha, which makes this a very promising campaign in the long term of the competition. While Coke and Pepsi work to retain their customers from primarily older generations, Dr. Pepper is aiming for the future. Marketing is the backbone of any brand nowadays, and every single one needs to have a really good presence online if they want to have traction and popularity. This is of course a huge factor with Dr. Pepper's recent growth, and it will probably have a lot to do with the brand's future success. Though, marketing isn't everything in the soda wars. Dr. Pepper is a very old soda on the market and has been competing with the two titans for years. It is now reaching the spotlight thanks to a combination of different factors. First, the very unique flavor profile the soda has makes it more popular now than ever. Most consumers were used to the same cola flavor and it ruled the market for years. But now, a lot of people want to try new things. And the fruitier flavor profile of Dr. Pepper makes it more mix and matchable. If you're chronically on the internet, many customers are now mixing their sodas with wild ingredients, making new, bolder flavors. Dr. Pepper isn't afraid of embracing this trend and has an answer in a way that Coke and Pepsi have been lacking for years now. But perhaps the biggest factor behind this incredible dethroning is just time. Catching up to Coke and Pepsi is just a matter of being able to endure long periods of time in a brutal market for these brands. You can sort of compare this with what's happening with Taylor Swift and Sabrina Carpenter. Taylor is a juggernaut, a worldwide brand that's huge. And of course, everybody can recognize her. But she's been on the top for so long that some people are experiencing some fatigue. That's where Sabrina Carpenter comes in. There isn't any bad blood between them. But Sabrina is fresher, newer, and very unique in her brand of pop. She has also been singing for quite a few years at this point. If you're into pop and marketing, you might be able to see how the two industries overlap in this way, which could signal that it's Dr. Pepper's time to shine. What do you think? What's your guess on how this race will play out over the next few years? Do you drink Coke, Pepsi, or Dr. Pepper? And are you getting tired of Taylor Swift? Okay, that last one was just a joke. Don't kill us. Uh, Why did the writer put that in there? We love Taylor Swift. Let us know below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.